Welcome to the Quiz Show Contenders. I'm your host, Peg Eun Young. Yesterday was Korea's, well, one of Korea's biggest holidays, Chuseok. Uh, the long holiday began on the 10th, and that must mean that many families around Korea are gathered around the TV having a good time. I'm glad you chose to join us. Well, I hope you're having a good time, and well, there are some people behind me who chose to join us on today's show. Let's welcome today's contenders on our stage. <laughs> Team 19, Chang Dong Woo and Song Jung Bum. It's good to see you guys and so share a bit about yourselves. Uh, Mr. Jang, I were assigned to the same military unit for two years. That explains how we met first and I'm happy to be here. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. So, and team 19 comes from the name of the magazine that we used to make together during our military service. Ah, I we, see. We used to work in public affairs office, so. Oh, so. okay. Well, it's good to have you guys here. Good luck to you today. Against Team 19, we have the Silk Road team, Rich Kim and Will Jameson. So, why Silk Road? Uh, it's the name of our school and we needed the day off. Yeah, we wanted to be a cooler name, but, you know, ninjas didn't sound as great as Silk Road. So you went with Silk Road. Yeah. Glad you got the day off. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us today. <laughs> and, well, let's begin our quiz. <laughs> In our first section, we'll be giving you 10 multiple choice questions. If you get all 10 correct, we give you 50 bonus points. If you get something wrong, we have to give you the sum of points up to that point. You can use chance once. That means we'll take away two of the incorrect choices, and of course, that improves your chances of getting it right. Now, Team 19, you have a choice. Q, U, I, or Z sets of questions. The letter Q, please. All right, we will go with question set Q number one. Of the following. Clovers that have how many leaves are considered lucky? One. One, two, two, three, three, four, four. Four, four. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever found a four-leaf clover? Uh, no. Hmm. I hear they're easier to find once you're really intent on looking. Anyway, we go to question two. Of the following, which is not the name of a train in Korea? One, Semaul, two, Arirang, three, Mugunghwa, and four, Tongil. Number two, Arirang. Mm -hmm. Arirang. <laughs> and we go to question three. Of the following, impossible things happen in all except which novel? One, Robinson Crusoe. Two, The Arabian Nights. Three, Gulliver's Travels. Four, The Wizard of Oz. Not sure you can use chance. Number one. Yes. <laughs> now, question four. Of the following, sweet potato is a nickname for which musical instrument? One, accordion. Two, pipe organ. Three, ocarina. Four, bagpipes. Can you use chance? You're gonna use a chance. All right, we'll take away two of the incorrect choices. And team 19, please choose your final answer. Number three. It is the ocarina. <laughs> and it is a sweet uh, instrument that you blow into. Mm -hmm. And we go to question five. Of the following, birds have two compartments or chambers of what? One, brains, two, stomachs, three, livers, four, bladders. Team 19, final answer, please. Number two. That is correct. <laughs> Question number six. Of the following, which winter sport did not originate in Europe? One, ski jump. Two, ice hockey. Three, luge. Four, speed skating. Number two, ice hockey. Yes, ice hockey originated in Canada. And already we are at question seven. Of the following, Andorra, Liechtenstein, and Monaco are all considered what? 
One, commonwealths. Two, republics. Three, principalities. And four, confederations. Number three. They are principalities. <laughs> Have you been to any of these places? I've been to Monaco once. Ah, oh, did you gamble? <laughs> no. I, I was too young to gamble. So. Ah. Well, if you win seven, then we could send you to Europe. Let's go to question eight now. Of the following, which film took place in London, England? One, A Room with a View. Two, Arthur. Three, My Left Foot. Four, A Fish Called Wanda. Team 19, your answer please. Number three. Actually, it is a fish called Wanda that took place in London, England. And you end the section at 70 points, Team 19. <laughs> Silk Road, you have a choice. U, I, or Z questions. Uh, let's take Z. All right, we will go with questions at Z. Number one. Of the following, which character is not a dog? One, Pluto. Two, Snoopy. Three, Tweety. Four, Goofy. Mm. Tweety. Tweety. Three. Tweety's a bird. <laughs> and question two. Of the following, who was the child in Kipling's The Jungle Book? One, Ka. Two, Sphir Shere Khan. Three, Baloo. And four, Mowgli. Silk Road, if you're not sure, you can use chance. Our chance. Yeah, we'll do the chance. All right, we'll take away two of the incorrect choices. And the final answer, Four. Silk Road. Four. Mowgli. Mowgli. Yes, it okay. is Mowgli. It is the little boy. And now we go to question three. Of the following, which fruit has edible seeds? One, cherry. Two, apricot. Three, peach. Four, papaya. Four of papaya? Yeah. And do you like papayas? Oh, yeah. Mm, tasty. And <laughs> we go to question four. <laughs> of the following, which geographical name is not used by a major pop group? One, as a pop group name. One, Ohio. Two, Boston. Three, Kansas. Four, Asia. Asia for Asia? Actually, it is Ohio. Uh, well, we have a lot of quiz ahead. You can make up the points then. Okay. Team 19, you are in the lead. 70 points. Congratulations. <laughs> and now for our password section, we give you 20 words in a pre-chosen category. You are given 100 seconds to go through the entire list. We ask that you do not share any of the words or phrases that we give you on the board. Now, Team 19, if you're ready, please take your position. <laughs> and you chose ch 70s movies. Right. What's your favorite? Uh, Star Wars. Hmm. Okay. And we'll see if that's on your list. Cool. Ready? Ready. Go. Spielberg. Just uh, boxing, boxing, Rocky, uh, Arthur Hiller, love story, uh, Robert De Niro, Jodie Foster, taxi driver, uh, pass, uh, Dustin Hoffman, and Meryl Streep, Kramer versus Kramer, uh, Robert Robert De Niro. Michael Cimino. And the Deer Hunter? Uh, Woody Allen. Annie Hall. Uh, Fritkin. The Exorcist. Uh, Big Ape. Crawling on, crawling on the Empire State Building. Pardon? Big Gorilla. King Kong. Uh, Bird, Jack Nicholson. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Uh, George Lucas, sci-fi. Star Wars. Uh, 
One flew over the cuckoo's nest. The actor. The actor? Yeah. Dustin Hoff? No, no, no. Jack Nicholson? Uh, pass. Pass. A uh, uh, famous gangster movie. The Godfather? Pass. 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 Uh. Oh, well, a few of them will prove to be pretty difficult to give hints for. Uh, you did pass on Gene Hackman and another actor, uh, Barbara Streisand. Um, well, you got Jack Nicholson. You end the section with 200 points. Now, Silk Road, if you're ready, please take your position. And your category is India. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, have you been to India? Nope. But you'd like to go? No. <laughs> you'd like to study about it? No. Then we forced you to study about exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. The other choices were like ballet. But you went with India. That's right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Capital. Delhi. New Delhi. Okay. Uh, religion. Major religion. Hinduism. The river. One of the big rivers. Ganji. It's a piece of land surrounded by three, surrounded by water on three sides. Island. Korea is a uh, continent. Starts with P. Uh, surrounded by three. P. Plateau. What? Sounds like something you write with. Pen. <laughs> Peninsula. There you go. <laughs> Muhammad was this? Uh, Gandhi? The highest mountains in the world are? Himalayas. It was a tomb of a famous wife, of King. Taj Mahal. Wife. There you go. It's the language, ancient lang language of the Aryans. Sanskrit. Bollywood is in? Bombay. Okay. Uh, it's a book, a uh, pass. It's the other river. Indus. Pass. Pass. We answered this before. It sounds like Hollywood. Bollywood. The priests, warriors are part of the. Rama. Part of the what system? Starts with a C. Cat. Pass. 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 A few of them, you could have gone for the book, a passage to mm. India. Uh, you passed on a few others, uh, premier port of India, Mumbai or Mumbai. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Tagore, who is the Indian poet philosopher, Nobel laureate, we've talked about him a few times mm. on our mm. show. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Team 19, you are in the lead, 200 points. Congratulations. <laughs> And now we are at the section that will decide who will get to go on to the finals to face the NIA team. Let's welcome Mr. David Huang onto our stage. <laughs> welcome. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That's a good game going on, but uh, rumor had I'm just actually happy that uh, Silk Road made it here alive because uh, rumor had it that on the way to try out for this show, they got into a car accident on their moped. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, it is. we got the scars to prove it. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I see that scar. A little bit of bleeding going on? Yeah, yeah. It was well, worth it, though. All right, well, I hope this show is worth your time then. All right, well, we're glad you, you made it to join us today. <laughs> and so what are the rules? Okay, this next round is a, is a round of non-multiple choice questions. The first team to answer, the first team to buzz in will get the first chance to answer. If you get that, ch if you get that answer wrong, the chance will be given to the other team. Now. If both teams get it wrong, you guys are lucky. Why, you ask? Because we are kind enough to give you both an another chance with the help of a spelling hint. There's 15 questions in all. Each question is worth 30 points, and you have five seconds to answer each. And I'd like to remind you to share your answers with us only after you've buzzed in, and I've called out your team names. And so, let's have question one. All right, question one is about game. 
Recently in Korea, an MP3 file which relays this game through traditional Korean pansori music is gathering much in interest. Along with drum beats, sentences such as "Our force is attack," create an appropriate tone. Silk Road. Starcraft. <laughs> And Silk Road, are you a big StarCraft player? Uh, yeah, more than I'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have question two. Well, let's stay on this one a little bit longer. You watch? No, okay. All right, question number two is about environment. Environment. Under a new law in the picturesque Himalayan state in India, anyone found even using this could face up to seven years behind bars or a fine up to $2,000. This, made with polythene, is often used for wrapping. What is this? Silk Road. It's uh, saran, saran plastic wrap. <laughs> Put it on the leftovers. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, plastic. Plastic or plastic bags were, were what we would go for. Oh, okay. And oh. Silk Road, you've taken the lead 210 versus 19, uh, Team 19's 200 points. It's a very close game. Let's go with question number three. Question number three is about actress. On September 14th, 1982, this Hollywood actress who starred in the Alfred Hitchcock hit Dial M for Murder and Rear Window suffered a brain hemorrhage. She was involved in a car crash near Monte Carlo. Who is this actress? Silk Road. Grace Kelly? <laughs> and Silk Road, you are increasing your lead. Team 19, I encourage you to buzz in quickly. And let's go to question number four. Question number four is about nature. This may not have been as fearsome as its Hollywood image suggests. British scientists say it could have been a scavenger rather than a hunter. Calculations show that the... T-19. What is a T-Rex? Yes, or Tyrannosaurus is what we would have taken. And let's go with question five. Question five is about geography. Last July, Aust Aust Austrian Felix Baumgartner broke a record. He took just 14 minutes to make the 22-mile crossing. He skydived across this. This is an area of water linking the North Sea with the Atlantic Ocean. It lies between England... English Silk Channel. Road. Oops. English Channel. Yes. And Silk Road, you're moving ahead yet again to 70 versus Team 19's 230 points. Let's go with the next question. Question number six is about pollution. When barbecuing, it is likely that the air will become toxicated and cause cancer. The amount of this emitted when bar- Team 19. What is coal? The chance answer goes over to the Silk Road team and let's finish the question. Okay. The amount of this emitted when barbecuing for two hours is found to equal that of 220,000 cigarettes. This is a toxic chemical produced Silk Road. Sorry, carbon monoxide? Now, why don't we listen to the rest of the question? This is a toxic chemical produced as the result of many industrial processes. What is this? Team 19. Dioxin. Yes, Team 19, that is the correct answer. And Team 19, you are just 10 points behind the lead of Silk Road 270 versus 260. Very close and exciting game. Yeah, but that is a sad fact. I love barbecue so much. I can't yeah. imagine eating delicious barbecue and getting cancer from the smoke at the same time. I know. That is so but sad. But then you're not at the barbecue grill for two hours usually. Yeah, you know? but maybe not even two hours. But if you're even there for a little bit, it gets that second half smoke. I didn't realize. Oh, well. well. Hold your breath, I guess, right? All right. <laughs> and let's go with question seven. All right, I'll hold my breath. All right, question number seven is about organization. This organization is about to assume control of peacekeeping in Afghanistan. The move marks its first ever operational commitment outside Europe. This is an international... Silk Road. NATO? Mm -hmm. North Atlantic Treaty Organization is what we're looking for. And Silk Road, you have increased your lead. 300 versus Team 19's 260 points. Let's have question eight. Okay, question eight is about invention. Sir Clive Sinclair announced secret plans for another pioneering new personal transporter. He is the inventor of this fabled electric tricycle. It was rumored to be powered by a washing machine motor and risked vanishing under a heavy goods vehicle without the driver noticing. What is this? This, why don't we take a look at the hint? You've seen 
seen the President George Bush trip on this? Come on. It's been in the news a lot. Yeah, you can see it in your head. It's right there. And let's fit in the rest of the words, hmm, the letters. Take a guess, you guys. Five seconds. Both teams. It is Segway. 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 Segway is the little motorized thing that you ride on. And let's go to question nine. Okay. Question nine is about health. Australian researchers found that even a small quantity of, thi of this allowed athletes to exercise almost a third longer. A single cup of coffee may be enough to trigger... Silk Road. Is this caffeine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so caffeine isn't all bad. Yeah, well, I mean, it does nothing for me personally. Uh, some people say they have like one little bit of ca caffeine and they're up all night, but if I'm tired and I drink coffee, nothing's, <laughs> I'm out. It doesn't keep you from, you know, sleeping? Yeah, definitely. I it has no effect on me. How about you? Mm, actually, it does have some effect does on it me. Really? Yeah, it does give me a lift. How about you? Yeah, I'll be like this all night. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps us awake when we're teaching. Yeah. And, well, Silk Road, you are increasing your read. Team 19, I encourage you to buzz in quickly. Let's move on to question 10. Question 10 is about art. On September 10, 1981, this work is received by Spain after four decades of refugee existence. This is Spanish artist Pablo Picasso's monumental anti-war mural. It was inspired by the destruction of this Basque town by the Nazis. Silk Road. Pamplona. Team 19, it's your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. Team 19. Guernica. Yes, it is Guernica. And you're just 40 points behind Silk Road's lead, T19 at 290 points. Let's move on to question 11. Question 11 is about city. 400 years after it was built, only the facade su survives, but the Church of St. Paul serves as a very visible reminder of the Portuguese in this small city state. On December 19, 1999, this tiny enclave, enclave returned to Chinese control as a Portuguese... Silk Road. Uh, Macau. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and let's move on to question 12. Question 12 is about word. Computer pioneer Grace Murray Hopper found the first actual documented moth in a computer on September 9, 1945. It was preserved at a museum and this term has hence been used to describe technical glitches. Team 19. Bug? Yes. And with that answer, once again, you have closed the lead to 40 points. Let's see what happens with question 13. Question 13 is about military. On September 15, 1916, the British launched a major offensive against the Germans, employing this for the first time in history. Silk Road. Uh, tank warfare. The tank. Armor. Yes. And now we have just quest two questions left. Let's move on to question 14. Question 14 is about person. A Chicago bank apologized after praising this person as a great economic leader. During the 1930s, he infused confidence into German workers, making them work. Silk Road. Who is Adolf Hitler? <laughs> And now we're down to our last question of the section. 15, please. Do I or she look like Alex I'm Trebek sorry. to you? <laughs> Neither of us. <laughs> I hope. So, yes, okay. Anyways, though, question number 15 is about country. The giant telescope project ALMA, which stands for Atkama Large Millimeter Array. Silk Road. Chile? <laughs> And with that, a strong ending to a strong game. Silk Road, you win and go on to the finals. Congratulations. <laughs> Team 19, well, it was a tough game for you guys. Um, but I know you have supporters back home. What would you like to say? It is Chuseok, you know. 
Uh, I just want to say hi to my parents. They're in Canada right now, so. Happy Chuseok. Happy Chuseok, Om Appa. <laughs> and to my friends at Korea Herald and uh, Jail Communications, and and the friends at my school. Thank you. And? I want I would like to thank to my parents, my girlfriend, and my friends. It's been exciting for me. Oh, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Road. Well, was it worth having the little scar on your arm? Yeah, I think it was worth it. Well, it'll go away, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see you right back after this. It's good to see you back again. This is your fourth time on our stage. This is your attempt at win number four in a row. Well, how are you guys doing? <sighs> Pretty excited about this. I mm -hmm. mean, four. I mean, it's a good number, uh -huh. except for in Korea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, death, bad. Yes, but, but, well, Silk Road's a pretty tough opponent to go against, right? Yeah. yeah. But so we got a little Asian thing going. We got number four. We got the Silk Road. All right. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the game. <laughs> let's begin our final right. section. Now, uh, we are in our final section. We give you five categories of questions uh, worth 10 to 50 points each. Now, what are today's fascinating categories? Today's fascinating categories are world cities, classic movies, who is she? Sports awards, and last but not least, founders. Yes, and these founders are founders of businesses or enterprises that we're talking about. And I get to choose the first question. I will go with World Cities for 10 points. This city, which is one of the oldest metropolises in the Western Hemisphere, is the political and economic centre of the country and has been a focus of Latin American culture since the 16th century Silk Road. Madrid? Now, Nia, it's your chance to answer. I'll finish the question. In the late 20th century, it was the world's largest city and one of the world's fastest growing metropolitan areas. What is this capital, which was called by name, such as ancient Nahua, Aztec, or Tenochtitlan? Nia. Nia. Mexico City. Yes. It is the capital of the Latin American country, which borders the US, and of course it is Mexico City. Yeah, it's good to see you on the board. You get to choose. World Cities for 20. World Cities, 20 points. This is the city with the most fountains in the world. It is as much a city of fountains as it is of churches or palaces, antiquities or urban problems. The more than 300 monumental fountains are an essential part of its seductive powers. Every fountain has its history and many have legends, the best known of which guarantees a return to the city to those who toss coins into the Silk Road. Rome? Yes, Trevi Fountain. <laughs> it is the capital of Italy. With that Silk Road, you've got the lead. 20 versus Nia's 10, you get to choose. Uh, classic movies for 50. Classic movies, 50 points. In 1939 and 40, 1939 and 40 were some of the greatest years of Hollywood cinema. Having just received the Academy Award for Best Actress in 1939, Vivian Leigh's performance in this film was ignored in favor of drop-dead performances in competing films, including Our Town, The Grapes of Wrath, etc. This film is based on the same title play by Pulitzer Prize winning playwright Robert E. Sherwood. What is this movie starring Vivian Leigh and Robert Taylor? Vivian Lee is one of the prettiest actresses. Robert Taylor, 
was in this movie with her? Hmm, two words. Famous movie, classic. Nia. French kiss. Silk Road, five seconds. Silk Road. Sound of music. <laughs> Sound of music. Mm. <laughs> it is Waterloo Bridge that we are going for. And, well, why don't I choose the next one? We'll go with Who Is She? Ten points. She was one of the most written about and photographed women on earth. This woman was often referred to as a queen in a country without royalty. Tragically, she died of cancer a few years ago. She was the American First Lady, Silk Road. Uh, Jacqueline Onassis. <laughs> Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. And Silk Road, you're increasing your lead. You get to choose. Uh, who is she for 50? Who is she for 50 points? This woman is known for having invented two of the most familiar and beloved figures in 20th century fiction. Interestingly, she was suspected of being murdered. She disappeared and her car was found abandoned, not too far from the home she shared with her husband. The mystery was never fully resolved and it was the sort of loose end that she would never have allowed into one of her books. Who is this mysterious woman? Silk Road. Agatha Christie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's the English detective novelist. Miss Jane Marple is a famous figure that she created. Silk Road, you're increasing your lead and you get to choose. Sports Awards for 50. Sports Awards, 50 points. This was first awarded in the, in the 1893 to 94 season and is the oldest trophy that can be won by professional athletes in North America. Its donor was a Governor General of Canada. Silk Road. Stanley Cup. And Nia, I'm going to have to encourage you to take the risk. He's Canadian. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Silk Road, you get to choose. Uh, founders for 50. Founders for 50 points. Hello everyone at Contenders. My name is Han Jung Im of the LG Economic Research Institute. As you know, businesses and businessmen are very important in economic development. One small idea of an innovative thinker can create a business that can rule the world. The questions I have for you today are also about companies that have the same name as its founders. I hope you do all well today. This company was established by Paul Julius Blank, a bank clerk who became a partner in a book publishing firm. He initiated a prototype news service in Paris in 1849, using electric telegraphy as well as carrier pigeons in his network. Upon moving to England, he launched a telegram company. In the 1960s, it became one of the first news agencies to use computers. Yeah. Reuters? Yes. And we had this British news agency in one of our questions before in our games. It was founded in 1851 and became one of the leading newswire services in the world. Nia, it's good to see you on the board. You get to choose. World Cities for 30. World Cities for 30 points. This question is multiple choice. Each team gets only one chance to answer, so please be careful. Of the following, which is an incorrect match between an international organization and its headquarters? One, United Nations, New York City. Two, Interpol, Paris. Three, NATO, London. Four, WHO, Geneva. Nia. Three. Yes, NATO headquarters is in Brussels. And Nia, you are catching up to Silk Road's lead. You get to choose. World Cities for 40. World Cities, 40 points. What, it, what city is the city of Bridges? This city developed rapidly in the mid-17th century as the country temporarily became a great power. The central government departments were then placed there and the city became an independent administrative unit. The old city walls were torn down and new districts grew up north and south of the city between the bridges. It had by then become the cultural center of Sweden. Silk Road. Stockholm. 
It is the capital and the largest city of Sweden. And Silk Road, you get to choose. Uh, World Cities for 50, please. Closing the category, World Cities, 50 points. According to tradition, this city was founded in 874 by the Norseman Ingolfur Arnarsson. Until the 20th century, it was a small fishing village ruled and largely inhabited by the Danes. Silk Road. Copenhagen. Hmm. Nia, it's your chance to answer. I'll finish the question. It was granted municipal powers and was designated the administrative center of the Danish-ruled island in 1786. It is located on the northern side of the self jadnar Peninsula. It is the northernmost world capital and the largest town of Iceland. What is this city, Nia? Five seconds. Nia. Reykjavik. Yes, means, and it means Bay of Smokes, her name. And Nia, you're 30 points behind Silk Go Rose lead. You get to choose. Uh, we'll take classic movies for 10. Classic movies, 10 points. This question is also a multiple choice, so you only have one chance, so be very careful. Of the following classic movies, which was not remade into a different version? One, Love Affair. Two, Romeo and Juliet. Three, Dial M for Murder. Four, Nia. Four. Yes. <laughs> Dial M for Murder was remade. Uh, it was called A Perfect Murder in 1998, starring Michael Douglas and Gwyneth Paltrow. And so, uh, Nia, you get to choose. Classic movies for uh, 20, please. Surely, classic movies, 20 points. Credited with inventing the genre of the modern horror film, this film has, has had its share of sequels and imitators, none of which dimin diminishes the achievement of this shocking and complex horror thriller. Alfred Hitchcock's choreography. Silk Road. The Birds? Nia, it's your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. Alfred Hitchcock's choreography of elements in the film is considered uh, so perfect it inspired a shot-by-shot -shot remake by Gus Van Sant in 1998. Widely regarded, re regarded as Hitchcock's best film, what is this film? Nia, five seconds. Nia? Psycho. Yes. And for years it's been rated the most thrilling film ever by a lot of critics and fans. Nia, you have even the score at 170 points. You get to choose. Classic movies for 30. Classic movies, 30 points. This all-time outrageous satirical comedy farce favorite is one of the most hilarious, raucous films ever made. The film is a clever combination of many elements, a spoof of the 1920s to 30s gangster films with period costumes and speakeasies and romance in a quasi screwball comedy with one central joke. This was Marilyn Monroe's second film with director Billy Wilder. What is this 1959 comedy film starring Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon? Hmm. Uh, think of Marilyn Monroe's film and... Mia? The Seven Year Itch? Silk Road, five seconds. Silk Road. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Fun movie involving Marilyn Monroe. Think back to all of the Marilyn Monroe films you've ever known about and name them all. I'll give you five seconds. Is there teams. a song? Actually, there is a song dun, with this dun, phrase. Dun, 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 dun. No, this, that didn't Sorry help. about that. <laughs> I tried, man. <laughs> <laughs> Some like it hot. Oh. Some like I it get, hot. No, I get it. Oh. Some that like it hot. Yeah, okay. Okay. yeah they were looking at you like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Duh. I'll choose the next one. Why don't we go with sports awards, 10 points. You'll notice that many sports awards are named after figures who are prominent in that field. This award is named after a big right-hander who pitched for five teams. Silk Road. Cy Young. Cy Young Award? Yes, the Cy Young Award. He is a professional U.S. baseball player, winner of more major league games than any other pitcher. And Silk Road, um, please share your answer with us after I've I'm called sorry. out your team name. <laughs> All right. And you've taken the lead yet again with 10 points. You get to choose. Uh, sports Awards for 40, please. Sports Awards, 40 points. 
In association, with, in, in association soccer, the World Cup trophy symbolizes world championship. The first competition for the cup was organized in 1930 by the Federation Internationale de Football Association, which is FIFA, and was won by Uruguay. The trophy cup awarded from 1930 to 1970 was this trophy, named for the Frenchman who proposed the tournament. It was permanently awarded in 1970 to three-time winner Brazil. What's this? And afterwards, a new trophy called the FIFA World Cup was put up for competition. So that's the cup that was won last time in Korea. I think it's a Frenchman's name. Five seconds. It's a two-syllable name, Silk Road. Uh, Rousseau? Mm. <laughs> yes, it was two syllables, Nia, five seconds. Jules Rimet trophy was what was given permanently to Brazil. <laughs> and <laughs> why don't we go with yeah. founders for 10 points? This person was born on a farm and educated in district schools. From 1888 to 1899, he was a mechanical engineer and later chief engineer with the Edison Illuminating Company. In 1896, after experimenting for years in his leisure hours, he completed the construction of his first automobile. Silk Road. Henry Ford. And his little model T. And Silk Road, you're increasing your lead. You get to choose. Uh, founders for 40, please. Founders, 40 points. The company originally manufactured dye stuffs. The company's trademark, the blank, Cross is internationally famous. Scores of pharmaceuticals start Silk Road. Uh, Red Cross. She'll finish the question. Nia, it's your turn to answer. Acetates, synthetic rubbers, plastics, fibers, insecticides, and other chemicals were first developed by this company. Notably, it is the first developer and marketer of aspirin. What is this German chemical and pharmaceutical company? Nia? Bayer. Bayer AG or Asfaktier Bayer is what we're going for. The company headquarters originally in Barmen, now Wuppertal, have been in Lever Leverkusen, north of Colonia, since 1912. It was founded in 1863 by a chemical salesman, Frederick Bayer. And to, uh, with that, Nia, you have taken the lead 210 versus Silk Road's 190 points. You get to choose. Let's uh, close out classic movies. Surely, classic movies, 40 points. Italian director F Federico Fellini originally wanted to title the film 2000 Years After Christ. This was to reflect Rome as a representation of Western culture that no longer valued Christianity and spirituality, but was instead built on gossip, publicity, and hype. Mia. La Dolce Vita. Yes. And they use the word paparazzi in this film. That was a big deal, too. And Nia, you have increased your lead 250 versus Silk Road's 190. It remains a very close game. However, you get to choose. Let's go with Who Is She for 20. Who Is She? 20 points. This woman was the daughter of a noble Florentine family who married Simone de Bardi. One great Italian poet wrote a chronicle of his relationship with her in La Vita Nuova, The New Life, a prose work interlaced with lyrics. He even made her into his heavenly guide on the road to and through the heavenly paradise. She is the woman to whom the Italian poet Dante dedicated most of his poetry and almost all throughout his life. Who is she? Mia. Apollonia. Silk Road, five seconds. <laughs> Our guide through heavenly paradise, Beatrice, or Beatrice. Oh, yeah. And now, why don't we go to Founders, 20 points. 
This person was instrumental in the development of the American banking industry. He took over his father's firm in 1890, renamed it and built his empire and reputation on character first, business second. His firm became the symbol of Wall Street and helped restore confidence after the panic of 1907. He's an American banker and financier, the head of the Blank investment banking firm after the death of his father, Blank Senior. Who was he? Nia. J.P. Morgan. John Pierpont, Pierpont Morgan Jr. is his full name. In 1933, uh, the Banking Act of that year compelled his firm to separate its investment banking activities from its commercial deposit banking activities. Accordingly, uh, Morgan Stanley and Company became a new investment banking firm. And Nia, you are in the lead and you get to choose. Founders for 30. Founders, 30 points. An Italian raced test cars for a small automobile company in Milan after World War I. In 1920, he became a racing car driver for the Alfa Romeo company. And in 1929, he formed a racing stable called Scadria Blank, which remained Alfa Romeo's official racing team even after he himself ceased to drive in races in 1932. He is the automobile manufacturer, designer, whose cars often dominated world racing competition in the second half of the 20th century. Silk Road. Ferrari. And Zilk Ferrari. <laughs> and uh, the cars have earned a reputation for speed and precise handling. Silk Road, you're just 50 points behind Nia's lead. You get to choose. Uh, who is she for 40? Who is she for 40 points? Uh, this is a quote, I thought my singing was pretty much hollering, but a band leader named Chick Webb didn't, quoted this woman. Singing in a style influenced by the jazz vocalist Connie Boswell, Nia. Janis Joplin. Hmm. Silk Road, it's your chance to answer. I'll finish the question. She won amateur talent contests in New York City before she joined the Chick Webb Orchestra in 1935. She was the American singer who became world famous for the wide range and rare sweetness of her voice. Who is this woman who had the amazing, amazing ability to scat? Silk Road, five seconds. Silk Road. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She made her first recording, Love and Kisses, in 1935. <laughs> Should I now do some scatting for you? Oh, sure, go no, ahead. I'm just kidding. I, I think I failed the first test. <laughs> the singing test? Yes, exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you know, it's always good to go again. Okay, skip it do bop. No. Oh, <laughs> not bad. Just kidding. It's better than the first round, I think. Is that right? Yeah. All right, okay, okay. And now, Silk Road, you have just 10 points behind, between you and the lead of Nia, 270 versus 260, and Silk Road, you get to choose. Uh, who is she for 30? Who is she? 30 points. This remarkable woman is credited with having successfully interviewed the most famous people than any, uh, Nia. Barbara Walters? Yes. And she's also the first female co-anchor of a network news evening program. And she's also famous for making people cry on her shows. And Nia, you've uh, cemented your lead, 300 versus Silk Road's 260. You get to choose. Sports Awards for 20. Sports Awards, 20 points. This question is multiple choice, so as you know, you'll have one chance to get it, so please be careful. Of the following, which is an incorrect match between a sport and, and the award in its field? Number one, Yacht, America's Cup. Number two, Badminton, Thomas Cup. Number three, Horse Race, Davis Cup. Number four, American Football. Silk Road. Number three. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, the Davis Cup is for tennis. And now, this is a very exciting question because we have just one question left on the board. Winner now, Silk all. Road, if you get the question, you win. Nia, if you get the question, you win. So, everything is hanging on this last very, very crucial question. And so, let's have it. Okay. Sports Awards, 30 points. Since 1927, this has evolved from a friendly set of matches into one of the world's premier sporting events. 
Europe and the United States take turns hosting this bar. Silk Road? Golf. And Nia, it's your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. Europe and the United States take turns hosting this biennial event, which means that the U.S. only plays host once every four years. This trophy was donated by Samuel Blank, a British seed merchant, for a biennial competition to alternate between uh, British and U.S. venues. What is this? Nia. Nia. The Ryder Cup. Yes. Terror attack was postponed actually. The 34th of these games will take place in Michigan in 2004. With that, Nia, you win yet again. Fourth time. Congratulations. Various prizes are awaiting our winning contenders. Your first win will take you on a trip to Jeju Island, your second win to Japan. Your third win will take you to China. And on your fourth win, you'll win a trip to Southeast Asia. On your fifth win, a trip to Hawaii. Your sixth win, a trip to the United States. And on your seventh win, you'll take the grand prize of a tour of Europe. We hope many of you join us. A close match. Silk Road, you gave them the run for their money. Now, Silk Road, I know you had a lot of supporters and there are people back home enjoying Chuseok holidays, and so you took this time out of your holiday to be with us. Uh, we thank you, and we'd like for you to share your comments. Thank you, sir. Say hi to my family in Canada and all my students. Mm -hmm. Just want to say hi to everyone out there. Um, to the Prince from Newcastle, welcome back to Korea. <laughs> And that's about it. All right, thank you very much for joining us. And Nia, it was very close, but you won for the fourth time in a row. Uh, so how do you feel? Lucky wow. we survived. That, that was impressive. That was intense. Southeast Asia, you say? Uh -huh. It's like a big area. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's a big prize. Yeah. Are you yeah. satisfied or are you going to be back next I'm week? I'm satiated and yeah, I think we'll come back just for the mere fact that I don't think I can be lucky for this long. You know? I mean, uh -huh. So you want to just see how far this goes? <laughs> mm. Prayer works. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Congratulations again. Thank you. And with that, Nia has won for the fourth time. Happy Chuseok, everyone. And thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.